Look, we need to get rid of this guy. I don't know what he's doing. Like, he's not funny. Like, his hair's a total mess. We need to get rid of him. He's just so bad. Are they not in here? Yeah. Uh, not? Nothing. You, you were on the phone? No. Hmm. Okay. Hello and welcome back to The Biscuit Break. I'm your host, uh, Finlay Black. I'm here with my co-host. Yeah. And uh, today we're going to be taking another look at some of your uh, favourite biscuits and giving you a bit of a kind of scientific analysis on them. So uh, today we're here with a really nice biscuit. Back to the, the Tunnock's family of treats and we're here with a Tunnock's caramel wafer. So Jack, we're looking at the packaging here. What are your first thoughts? Well, so we're back to gold. So gold's my favourite colour. Okay, so another colour, gold uh, being Jack's favourite colour now. I mean, it is golden red. The kind of uh, colour uh, looks really nice, I think. The, the packaging is quite a kind of classic look to it. Um, it's not a biscuit that's going to kind of jump out at you on a, on a shelf. And I don't know if it's really going to draw on a younger crowd. This is definitely a kind of old person's biscuit. Um, but let's try it out and see what we think. So, having a little look at that there. I mean, it is a big, solid wafer covered in chocolate. Jack, looking at the biscuit, what do you think? I mean, I like how there's kind of like patterns on the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah, there's a kind of interesting pattern on the bottom of it there from where the, the chocolate's been pressed into it. It's a proper big, thick biscuit um, and kind of wavy bit of chocolate on the top of it as well. Um, I think like looking at this before you've eaten it, if it's the first time you're trying it at one of these, you think you kind of, you know what you're getting in for. So let's uh, move to uh, one of the kind of most scientific parts of the analysis. So this is going to be the biscuit break. Obviously, this is a very dangerous part of uh, the analysis. So we need to make sure we're wearing our protective uh, gear for this. So we'll check. And like I said on previous episodes, we really don't want uh, a repeat of anyone getting hurt. So please make sure if you're going to be going through something like a biscuit break, make sure you're wearing some kind of protection. So moving on to the break. When you're ready. Whoa. Oh, that is a good chunky break. Um, Jack, what do you think of the break there? It just split apart. Splits right down the middle, uh -huh. doesn't it? I think the wafers are nice and crispy, so it gives you a good snap, but you have to put a bit of force behind that because it's such a chunky mm -hmm. biscuit. You can see on the inside there all the different kind of caramel layers in between all the wafer wrapped up in that chocolate. Um, so we've got Jack with a glass of milk, me with a cup of coffee. We're ready. We're on to the dip test. Dip. I mean, looking at that dip test there, what do you think? Uh, well, when I was seeing the milk holds, holds on to the biscuits, now it kind of drips off. Yeah, I think the chocolate there on the outside makes the milk run off, but if you've got something a bit warmer, like maybe a warm glass of milk or a warm glass of tea or coffee, it's going to melt that little chocolate outside layer, make it a little bit sweeter, uh, ready for a, a good little bite. Mm. What do you think of the taste? Mm, because I quite like the, uh, the wafer bit. Yeah, it's a nice kind of crunch to it. There's definitely a decent amount of chocolate. Like it is a chocolatey biscuit. Um, and the kind of caramel and stuff in there. It's definitely for uh, someone out there who's got a sweet tooth. This isn't a, a little biscuit that you could just kind of nibble on. This is a proper little meal in a bar, isn't it? So, after all those different parts of the analysis, Jack... What are your kind of final thoughts on the uh, Tonics Caramel Wafer? Uh, well, I think it's really good and I'll give it a, a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10, yeah. I think uh, I think it's a really nice biscuit. I really like the, the kind of chocolate and caramel combo. That's a real classic. And the wafer is really good. It's got a good snap to it. Uh, I, would, I would regularly eat this biscuit. I think I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. So uh, join us next time on the biscuit break when we'll have another look at some of your more uh, some more of your favorite biscuits and do a bit more of a scientific analysis on them. Stay tuned.